again. It is December, and I know you are all busy, but thank you for being here today. During the second section, I will give you a briefing of our performance, and if you should have any questions, I would like to answer them. First of all, in 2019, our finance year is from October to tw uh, September, so the highlights are from the sep until September 2019. In the first portion, I already gave you a briefing of the our performance, our results, but especially the internet industry, our industry, changes. The climate changes like the climate on the mountain every quarter. But overall, everything is going well. The media business, as I, we already had questions about this in the first section, but Bema TV, the, the WAU, our weekly active users now has reached over 10 million, so it's growing uh, steadily, and that was a condition for continuing with uh, Bema TV. And the ad business, we have continued to expand this area as well. And with respect to the game business, we haven't had a big hit for a while, but uh, I will mention later, we have just released a new title, which we believe will become a key hit, a major hit for us going forward. So starting from FY2000, you can see when we first went public, we've done 453 billion, so we've expanded our performance significantly. And in 2011, 2012 is when the smartphone became widespread, but since then you can see how our growth has multiplied exponentially. However, having said that, it's becoming harder to grow our sales top line, but if you look at the other companies in the entire stock market, no, no company has been able to maintain this level of growth as we have. In terms of the OP, over the last couple of years, it's been about 30 billion, and we have been investing 20 billion to try to grow the next pillar of business uh, in Abema TV. And you might think that we could have done 50 billion in OP if we hadn't invested in Abema TV, but from my point of view, rather than tr trying to have a company where you don't know where it's heading in the future but has an OP of 50 billion, it's better to invest in our mid to long term. And we believe that over the mid to long term, we will our investments will bear fruit. Now, in terms of the FY 2020 forecast, it might look slightly conservative, but these are the figures that we have forecasted. In terms of our company, mid to long term, the there are expectations that our share prices will go up for, uh, for companies such as us, and dividends are also important for us, so we're thinking about both. So we continue to believe that we are still a growing company but we're still uh, like a startup company. We're not really that small anymore, but if you look at the Nikkei stock average, you can see that our share prices are far growing far better, but we, be we hope to continue to keep this level of growth and also to tr continue to provide dividends and make sure that uh, you're getting your returns. Our business is comprised of media, games, and internet ads. So we would like to go into each one to give you a forecast of each. First, starting with the internet ad business. As you already know, internet ad business is in Japan. It is one of the only growing industries in Japan. So over the past 20 years, it has continued to grow. You might be wondering if it will continue to grow, but the ad business is for consumers 
what media do we spend much, uh, our time on? Um, may we watch TV in the morning or maybe read newspapers, or maybe peop you're looking at your smartphone, but uh, there's ads offered to each touch point, and that's what advertisers want to do to reach you during those times. So even if you're at home or on the train, everybody is actually... I'm sure your kids are all watch, looking at their smartphones. But the time spent on the internet and the, the impact is continuing to grow. So it might be a little bit slower, but internet ad industry or market, I believe uh, it is certain that it will continue to grow. So people say that people are straying away from TV or no longer want reading newspapers. And I always tell my employees to read newspapers. But many people are no longer watching, look, uh, reading newspapers, and instead they're actually turning to internet. So that's the times that we are facing. In terms of the internet ad business, the top line has continued to grow. But this fiscal year, we were actually just talking about Abema TV investments, but internet ads as well. We've actually made up our investments in this business as well. So OPEC has come down um, temporarily, but we believe that this will come back up again. And during this time, what we were doing was the brand advertisers or national clients, so they are called the cosmetics, automobiles, those kind of manufacturers, we have tried to acquire new clients. So these are new clients for us. So when you have new clients, they don't tend to spend too much yet. So uh, once you continue, continue to maintain that relationship, the volume will c go up. So. Since we now have new existing clients, we will continue. We will now focus on expanding their advertising budget on our platform. And in the first section, we talked about the agency business, and it's very difficult to improve margins because it's con consistent. But we've actually c tried to do ad, creative, ad creatives ourselves and try to do a lot of these uh, functions internally. And this is an area that we have been investing up front in. And we hope that these areas will uh, start to bear fruit. Next, moving on to games. So from 10 or so years ago, since social games became more widespread, it has uh, been a hot topic in the stock exchange as well. But there are a lot, you might think that a lot of gaming companies are not very energetic right now, but smartphone game market grew suddenly, and then it has actually become more stagnant. It's become flat. But in terms of the market size, we have forecasted that this will be the case from very early on. And so we hope to try to retain our profits. And companies that don't have the funding and p companies that don't have the resources will c start to disappear. And survivors will start to get share of the remaining market. And so that is, we sub predicted that that will be the case. And that is what we believe is happening currently. We didn't really release any new titles, hardly any new titles in FY 2019, but we did still grow our top line. And when you think about games or hear games, people who n play games or new games uh, from long ago, like you might imagine Super Mario package games, and when you sell it on the first day, if it sells well, yes, the top line will grow, but then it will drop off suddenly as well, but smartphone games actually are operated day to day, and people actually play these games for a very long time. So 
unlike package items like games and CDs, is the impression is very different. It's a long lasting business, basically. And this is the sales, shift in sales by quarter. We don't operate just one major title. We actually operate eight major game titles. And these are only the game major titles. We have more. So even if one title becomes less and less popular, the other game's titles can co cover for that. But Tengoku Enbu and Grand Blue Fantasy as well, it, they're still contributing to the top line even now. So they are really, they have a long lifespan as you can see from this graph. And as you can see from the graph as well, in 2019, we didn't really release any major titles, but November 27, maybe two weeks ago, we just released this title. And in terms of sales ranking, if we look at the publicly announced uh, rankings, you can see that it's doing very well. There are some games that do well in just the very beginning, but the number of daily active users and the, how the, we are we able to retain our users and grow our users, we believe that looking at those KPIs, th this will become a major title. So we have finally been able to release a major title. So even though we weren't able to release much in the last year, we believe that the future is bright going forward. Now moving on to the media business. By starting Abema TV, in the first section there was a question about this, but Ameba Pig used to be a pillar of business, and we actually discontinued. But even then, we have been able to increase our top line in OP. So OP was 11.1 billion, so it's nearly double the previous year and it's we were haven't fully launched the service yet but we believe that it, we're doing very well even still so with respect to abema tv it's almost about 3.5 years ago that we launched the service april 11 2016 and cyber agent we had 60 percent tv asahi had 40 percent so this was a joint venture that we started with tv asahi and the video streaming service or video services see the ad business our video ad business is about 200 billion and it is a growing market as we mentioned one of the few but if we look at netflix amazon prime video hulu there are many video streaming services that emerge into the Japanese market, and so this market is growing at the moment. But our key feature, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, or they're not really our direct competitor because these... Abema TV was actually trying to replace TV or redefine TV. So news and sports uh, broadcasting, those killer contents um, were the only service that can offer those kind of contents. So Netflix and Amazon cannot. So they're not really our direct competitors. And we wouldn't be able to grow in these areas without the con uh, cooperation of TV Asahi. So our characteristics includes our main target, which is a young uh, generation who were straying away from TV. And until a few years ago, internet content was more cheap. It's a little bit more low cost, low budget, but it's actually the reverse now. For example, uh, Netflix, they're creating content that is even better quality than TV. So that's a trend currently. So with respect to Abema TV, we're working with the TV network, but in terms of the budgeting, we spend around the same budget and we hope to create something even better. 
we currently operate about 20 channels. What we c produce, though, are variety shows and drama. We have original content, and we also procure content such as sumo. We broadcast all sumo uh, matches, but we procure the, the content. And of course, we provide our own commentary as well. In anime, we procure content. So we have original content and procured content. So that comprises uh, our 20 channels. And in terms of our, the users, if we compare against the other video streaming services, the monthly active users, as you can see, in Japan, we have the highest number of uh, monthly active users. YouTube is actually a combination. We, they're not included here because they offer other services as well. But we are, n we have the highest MAU. And it's quite simple because uh, it's a free streaming service, video streaming service. So other services, you have to sign up and pay a subscription fee. So as a media, it has the largest and widest impact. So in order to have the wide, wide impact, you have to offer content for free. So we have a very special positioning in this market, especially among teens and um, the youth in 20s, junior high students and high school students. The Recognition among the, the young age group is very high in, with respect to Abema TV. And when we talk to our advertisers and explain Abema TV, we tell them if they have junior, if they have uh, dollars who are junior in junior high, or high school, they understand immediately that we're a great service. And so we believe that we become a service that has successfully targeted that young age group. And in terms of the number of downloads, we have 4, 45 million downloads. So you can see from the graph that this has actually grown steadily. And it's not so much that we have invested in promotions to do so. Our content has a lot of uh, talent. And maybe you like that talent, so you download, or you want to watch the sports content. So M League is Mahjong League, so some people want to watch Emily, so our content is actually encouraging people to download the app. And as mentioned, young users are utilizing our service. And th this only goes down to 18. But if we even look at people who are uh, youth under 18, we're even stronger in that age group. And with respect to the gender uh, ratio, it's we have slightly more men watching than women. And CS and BS, there's a lot of TV programs for older women, uh, older men, um, and they're very hobby driven. So it could be a fishing channel or a Japanese chess channel. And Abema TV as well, we started with a lot of men in their 40s, but as we strategically, we have been able to strategically increase the younger age group. And weekly active users, uh, we t said that we've surpassed 10 million. This is a condition of continuing the business. Um, for, but in terms of the number of accesses, if we, it actually peaks when we have a killer content, and often it does drop down right afterwards. But that's not, we want to make sure that uh, people are steadily watching this Abema TV. So we have tried to maintain and try to grow the base. As you can see, it's nearing the 10 million mark, the baseline. And this year, in 2019, The reasons why we actually surpassed 10 million WAU is, for example, the breaking news about the comedian and the famous actress getting married. And so we actually had the press conference or a news program about that on ABEMA TV. 
uh, I said that we were strong amongst junior and high school student girls. But on the left, the dating reality show, we actually have a lot of TV programs in this genre. So girls in their teens who want to start dating their, or interested in dating, they're watching these TV programs. And we also uh, invested in our original program, which has started to yield results that we had hoped for. And in 2019, this is even the case if we look further back, but this is the, the best shows, the highest ranked programs. And the number one was uh, the press conference by Miyazako, the comedian. And he can talk very well. And many people continue to watch this TV program for a very long time. And then after that, uh, Okamoto, President, uh, President Okamoto of uh, Yoshimoto, he was also ranked high as well. And then after that was a special boxing match. The revenue streams of Emma TV, it, we said that it's the service is free because there's advertising, but we also have a subscription service as well. It's the same as TV, but with respect to TV, users actually time shift or record and watch programs, and they when they do that, they don't watch the advertising. But with Abema TV, even if you watch the past programs, you can watch all of that. They need to subscribe and sign up for that. So all linear programming is free, but video on demand is you have to pay to watch. So Abema TV, dramas on Abema TV broadcast it can immediately be rented on, for example, Staya. That's what it's like. But right now, it's 60-40, 60% advertising, and subscription 40%, but it's now nearing 50-50. So subscription is growing. And we have 518,000 subscribers. These are our most recent numbers. So people who watch linear programming or time shift or watch it like a rental video on demand, they usually pay about 1,000 yen. And so this will become very stable if the subscription portion continues to grow. So we do have a young audience group. So we will continue to focus our efforts and offer programming for drama, uh, fighting matches as well fighting sports, and also ship, not just fishing and mahjong. We are putting effort into fortifying content for men in their 40s as well. We will continue to do that. And we've already started to do this, but in terms of the user interface, Since we began in 2016, this is we're actually putting the most drastic updates in right now. You can flick left to right, so you can zap through channels like you zap through TV channels. So that's how you would utilize this. But once when you're watching a linear TV programming, you can actually search for on-demand contact content and so the a lot of our users have it's easier for users to actually find content that they want if we offer it on the, on the same page at the bottom so that's what we're ch uh, some of the changes that we're making to the user interface and this year Denta Hakodos invested in their service so we're fortifying our business aligning with them as well and we've actually um, has par have partnerships with Dozen, and we just announced Nico Nico uh, live broadcasting this morning. But we will continue to build on these alliances with, so we can improve our recognition among our non-users. And with our TV remote, with TV remotes as well, the Abema TV button will be included in the remote, so people who watch TV will also learn about our service and access it easily. 
And Abema TV is a hybrid business model, advertising revenue as well as subscription. But we do have other related businesses that are that can grow because of Abema TV, and we've actually put a lot of effort into this. And we haven't really released a lot of uh, detailed numbers with this these businesses, but we have public gambling win ticket win ticket for cycling. And we've also created our own original uh, Caden Cycling TV program as well. And we also have a shopping channel as well, called Abema TV. So those are some of the things that we have been working on. And towards the end of the year and the beginning of next year, there is the National Singing Program. But similar to that, we will have a music program with peop with artists who are not going to be on the other program. And we're also working with a 7.2-hour new program with SMAP, a popular Japanese uh, group of actors. And we also have the ATB, ATP Cup coming up in 2020. And TV Asahi had the rights to this. And Abema TV will also be able to live stream all of these matches, 130 matches on Abema TV. And Abema TV, uh, you can't fool me, Mr. Wolf is our most popular dating reality program. And it will start again on January 5th, the new season. Over the mid to long term, we are still working on growing our uh, top line, but uh, we'll focus on advertising, subscription, and related businesses. And when somebody asked about the returns, and we can't really talk about the, those figures right now, but it's high risk, but high investment and high return business. So we will con try to continue to uh, produce results. Now, in FY 2020, while the ad business and gay business is still doing well, we want to make sure that the new next pillar of business, Abema TV, will grow into the ne uh, a key pillar. That's it for myself. Thank you very much.